My name is Isabel Quosa. I'm a senior at UMass Amherst and I'm pursuing a BFA in animation and design. In high school and middle school forever, I've been really into art of all types. Um, I started off as a painter actually. In college, I kind of stepped away from that a little bit as I got like into the digital art world. Um, when I came here, design wasn't like a thing at all. Mm -hmm. So I started off with animation and then as we got some more professors, I was able to move into the design world, which is really where I found my niche um, in terms of creating art. The visual arts community at UMass has been super great, specifically talking about my um, professors. I feel like a lot of my teachers or my professors have been really, you know, well-versed artists where I can get a lot of advice from, a lot of mentorship from, which has been super great um, going into like the real world now where I have these connections that I made. And then in terms of my classmates, since it's such a small group of us, I mean, you're basically only in classes with people who are in your major. So it's like 10 to 15 people. Making the connections with everyone who has different backgrounds has been super helpful for me too. I actually started off with design thinking that it was just making logos and stuff. And I was blessed to receive like a lot of advice from teachers here that design is a lot more. I love Black History Month because people who are artists or creators or scholars, whatever it is, they get uh, more recognition during this time. Um, so, I mean, Black History Month, I always, I always pay attention to Black history, but, you know, having my voice heard and my project shown is super, super great. A lot of my art, I mean, as you can see, is centered around people of color. A big part of my work is just designing or creating for um, representation that, you know, doesn't exist in day-to-day -day life. My own identity plays a big role into, you know, how I view the world and how the world views me, and that's basically why I'm designing for or creating for marginalized communities. I like a lot of research projects. A lot of my art has a lot of research aspects to it. So actually this one right here behind me. So this was a triptych. Um, it was like a two month long project where I researched um, a bunch of artists from the Harlem Renaissance era, specifically Palmer Hayden. Um, I learned about different textures and stuff that was used to bring life to paintings. I also researched the aesthetics of gentrification. Um, so that's what this is about is exploring gentrification and if you look at the other pieces they all kind of come together to make one and that was actually in two art shows. So this one is definitely my biggest research project in terms of art and then this one right here um, this was about the importance of the critical race theory so that one I created through a design process so I used a lot of design thinking in terms of user testing so I Use my classmates. Um, I stood in front of them and I talked about the critical race theory and nobody had any idea what it was, which was rough. And um, so I created this interactive brochure that teaches you um, the major components that are taught within the critical race theory and how uh, they affect the lives of black Americans. I put a lot of thought into the folds of it um, and how everything kind of unfolds and it comes together and then you can take things separately and stuff like that so the design aspect was a big part of that because if I was just to show this as a poster like mm -hmm. we see posters all the time right. <laughs> so um, making it more interactive mm -hmm. was really cool and then I also put a lot I designed the font too so um, I put a lot of thought into you know how I stood in front of people and nobody really understood what it was so I'm teaching from a child's level so that's why I designed the font to be the way that it is. Recently did a project on Emery Douglas. Um, so he was a designer actually for um, the Black Panther Party. I did a huge spread on him, which was really cool and a lot of fun to do. But, you know, just studying how he created during this time and mm -hmm. how he created with, you know, simplistic stuff. I mean, back then they didn't have a lot of tools. Like they didn't have Photoshop, they didn't have InDesign. He manually printed a bunch of stuff. So really studying a lot of artists that Keep things really simple um, was, has been really impactful for my design journey. This one was for um, a branding project where I got to create um, my own hairbrushes um, for black hair, which was super fun because this was my first 
obviously this is not my package, but this is my first packaging product and product design, um, kind of moving out of the graphics world. So creating stuff that's tangible that people can use was a lot of fun. Um, this is probably my favorite project that I did. I mean, obviously for my hair, I have to go and get different products in the store and um, aesthetically, it's just not pleasing mm -hmm. whatsoever. So mm -hmm. that was the point of this branding project um, was for me to create products that look nice on the shelf and aren't just words. Um, so that's why I created packaging, I created a logo, and then I created the brushes. And um, those are obviously just a prototype, but that was a lot of fun to create. What I find is that when people, I mean, look at art or look at creations that include people of color, there needs to be some huge underlying message. Mm -hmm. um, so just creating for representational purposes is really, really important for me because, you know, I can draw, you know, that kind of takes away from the projects that I have here. But a lot of my other stuff, like, it's just drawing people of color and I just drew it because I want to draw it. And that's my own identity. And there's not like some huge sob story behind it, you know. I've actually learned that I like a lot of stuff outside of graphics too. Like like I said, I had the opportunity to be taught under a lot of like product designers. So mm -hmm. just the world of design and design thinking has been super interesting. So after school, after I get all my degrees, um, I really, really am into editorial design right okay. now. Um, designing texts, illustrations, layouts, all of that type of stuff. Um, I always, before college, I always dreamed of being like a creative director. I really like creative direction. Um, so working for, you know, a big company, I want to work for a big company and mm -hmm. kind of be in charge of the way that their stuff is created and the way stuff is viewed. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like I offer a lot of interesting perspectives. Um, so, you know, in that leadership role is where I see myself being at.